with unemployment still painfully high, job creation must be a high priority of monetary policy. Janet Yellen is now a leading candidate to replace Ben Bernanke as chairman of the Federal Reserve, the world's most powerful economic policymaker. 67 years old, she would be the first female to run the organization. The recovery is not proceeding at a pace uh, that is sufficient to bring down unemployment very rapidly. This focus on reducing unemployment and her warnings about the housing bubble have won Ms. Yellen the support of many liberal Democrats. Janet Yellen is going to, I hope, will make a terrific Federal Reserve Chair. I hope she's nominated. Many economists like her, too. They expect her to continue the Fed's stimulus campaign. The constituency she still has to convince, however, is the president and his aides. My only interest at this point is making sure that the economy is moving the way it needs to. Yellen is a relative unknown at a White House that doesn't trust outsiders. She's also part of a more liberal group of economic policymakers, primarily women. It's a group that has clashed at times with the president's centrist, mostly male advisors, including Larry Summers, who withdrew his name from consideration. Senate Democrats likely would line up to support her. Republicans, however, are likely to oppose anyone selected by the Obama administration. But filibustering Ms. Yellen could prove politically risky for a party already struggling to attract female voters. The president has already interviewed Ms. Yellen and one other candidate viewed as a long shot. He has promised to announce a decision this fall. On Monday, a spokesman noted pointedly that the fall begins next week.